You know, we've got a few folks here tonight from US Bank because we are very passionate about the community of Minneapolis. We're very passionate about small business and we're here to hear your story. And our CEO, Richard Davis, he has an annual meeting every year for the employees and what he says is, you know, bankers, we don't make anything, we don't build anything, but we get behind people that do. We're dream makers. And so whether you are in the starting stage of your business, whether you are adding on an employee for the first time, whether you are teaming up with someone to partner to make it even bigger and better, whether you are selling, we would love to hear your story. My name is Julie McKenzie. I'm a founder and chief explorer at a company called Mind Sailing. And Mind Sailing exists to help organizations navigate through major sea change. And we do that through marketing communications and innovation strategies. Typically, we focus in industries that have layers of change. And these layers of change can be caused by changing market um, audience segments. They can be technologies cause disruption, um, resources, and regulations. Those are the, the four biggies that when those uh, currents start to move, you start to see new business models emerging. And healthcare is one of the, the obvious ones right now. Financial services is another one. Uh, we also focus on agriculture and energy. And then the last one, which is probably our favorite one, um, is empathy. And empathy is really being driven by consumers um, because they've kind of had it with uh, everybody taking their stuff and stealing their money and ruining the planet and lying to them or um, not promoting honestly. And the po they have the power now. Uh, there's transparency, there's social media, there's uh, ways of sharing information. And so those consumers are starting to make demands and brands are starting to listen and to accommodate them, but sometimes they need help. So mind sailing, as the name implies, is the, the, the hard work of doing the research to understand what these currents are. So, so we study, uh, we do the kind of roll up our sleeves, dirty uh, work of reading all the decks that um, everybody, all the researchers have done or doing the, the research ourselves and then looking for those insights and what we call currencies. So we have, um, uh, currents and currencies is something that we focus on is that these these winds, these seeds of change, create a new value. And, and our, we try to help our clients find what this new value is. Sometimes this new value is a product. Sometimes it's your process, uh, how you think internally. Sometimes it's distribution. And then sometimes it's how you talk. And so if you're in a category that's undergoing major transformation and change, even the language isn't the same. You know, think of the word computer. It didn't exist at one time. It took, them, it took them years to figure out what to call it. And they called it all sorts of things, you know, that tell us something or other, that words we don't use anymore. So um, we'll look at what those words are, which of course impact search, et cetera, how the dialogues happen, um, how, what the fair exchange is, and then we try to help uh, brands sail through that. So, you know, kind of in a nutshell, uh, looking at those sea changes, staying in categories that are, that are undergoing massive change, and then helping these brands connect. It's a big deal to try to shift your self-concept of your self-changes and of your organization changes. And I'm sure everybody in this room has felt it either personally or professionally in some way. Um, came to Coco because it allowed me to get out of an old agency model and grow here, uh, started rubbing sticks together, and now um, here's the mind sailing team in front. We're a growing concern, and that's, you know, it's really exciting. And the energy here is great for those of you that aren't COCO members, very stimulating. Nobody's here um, because they have to be. Uh, if they don't want to be, they just go home. And if they are here, they're responsible to themselves and their business, and so they are working hard, and that energy is just wonderful to be around.